It's an Eastern Conference battle here at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee as the Bucks took to work the home court to their advantage. A time honored tradition. Oh, we're playing the Milwaukee Bucks. We're live. We're doing commentary. Okay. Let's go. Four to ten. All right, come on, y'all. We can do better than that. Start the game. Man's gonna score four points. Five minutes? Are you serious? I mean, four minutes? Are you serious? In the backcourt, in for Brand. Millsap comes in for Josh McRoberts. Slim is checked in for Damari Carroll, and it's Corver in for Kent Bazin. Let's go, baby. On the court for Atlanta. Jabbar Parker must don't know. Just because I'm undrafted, don't mean nothing. Just don't know. And it's Slim. Great motor, terrific hunger, real competitive. Yeah, extremely competitive and confident. That, 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 that was the Paul Mills set. That was a pass. That was a pass. That was the Paul Mills set. I can't believe this dude is old and still doing something good. Not like he's Kobe. Jeff T blowing right past him. That's when he misses. Hanson's got six rebounds in the game. All right. Hopefully, Coach have a speed and prep talk for y'all to get y'all while coached up. Ready to turn up. All right, listen closely, man. I've got a few things to touch on. We're going to turn this from a close game into our game. Nice energy you showed defensively. The steals kept coming. I want you guys to have that same nose for the ball in the second half. Don't be afraid to take a few chances, even if it means risking a foul call. One place we've had success was in the low post on offense. Great positioning. Good job finding the open passing lanes and getting the ball in tight. And let's talk about our pace. We need to start the third quarter with patience and force. I want to see us work for those good looks, careful passing, and smart decision making. This is the first time I've right, stuck guys, at halftime. Let's get out there and play a good second half. Here's Swim. And the lead Let's is go. down inside single digits. Slim's got lock at six. Bran passes to Slim. Rebounded by the Bucks. I tried, boy, I tried. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. That is always. Y'all could have played some defense. Y'all could have, like, put a hand up or anything. You could have blocked. Could have did something. 14, it's the third quarter. That's good. And then, and then I just really just chuck. Right there, guys. My goodness. Twelve seconds left to play in the third. Takes a shot at the elbow. Can't get it to go. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open. Just couldn't take advantage. Didn't work. On him and keep him down. We've got them exactly where we want them. I want to see you guys slow the pace, use the clock, and stay away. Get out of here, man. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Garbage so. Should have retired. He kicks to Brand. Here is Slim. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot, too. Guys, we see teams taking a more data-driven approach. Analytics now, a big part of things. You see that in the front office. And, and Steve, that brings in some new faces. Excellent. Yeah, in the last two years, throws. over a third of the NBA teams have hired new decision makers. So only a couple played in the league, the majority being, you know, more of the uh, analytical types. So there's definitely been a sea change in terms of NBA leadership. Dude, like, these dudes using so many screens. There's the pick. Walters passes to Henson. Here's Walters. And it's good. Unbelievable. Running down in the shot clock. A bomb. Unbelievable. And the Bucks lead by 17. Gone, and I agree with you. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Expanding his range, and he drills it. Beautiful release there from Slim. Well, their offense has kicked into gear, but it seems that three point of your face. Just because I'm, just because I'm angry, I shot that three. Just because I was angry. I mean, you guys were stumbling along for most of the game. I played good. I'm not, but the rest of the team, they just got whooped. I tried my best to bring them back. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. And this one was such a lopsided victory. They never let up. They were full throttle from the start. And now let's catch up with Doris Burgos. Well, congratulate.
Man. The whoopings will never end. Let me stop playing. We won last game. Just I don't like getting whooped by no sorry team. Though. If it's about a good team, that's a good excuse. Coaches off the later that week. Uh -oh. What are you smiling about? Life's good. I'm hitting my stride right now. I'm just happy to be balling. That's why I called you in here. You have been balling. If you keep producing like this, I see no reason why you won't be in the starting lineup before long. We always try to be careful with the new guys, make sure they fit our system the way we want them to. But it seems like just a matter of time for you. How does that sound? Coach, I do whatever you ask me. If it's providing a spark off the bench, great. If it's starting, even better. Good answer. Now get out of here. Yo, so what's up? It's not every day that you in the hood. Just wanted to drop a little knowledge your way. We're in an exclusive club. A lot of people think the NBA life is easy, but I know different. There are ups and downs, pressures most people got no clue about. Wanted to make sure you're dealing okay. Oh, yeah, man, I'm good. All right, because if I've learned anything, it's to make it in the NBA. You need to take care of your body, make sure your family's straight, make sure you're focused on the right things, and forget all this off-the-court stuff. Uh, all right, this is pretty good prep talk from Al Horford. I'm kind of surprised he dropped by. Guess you can officially say we're homies, other than teammates, bros.